In this video, we're going to take a look at suppressing features inside of our model to help protect our intellectual property as well as reduce the file footprint that we have when we export our data to other file formats. So here I have the feature suppression IPT from our working files directory. Now what's unique about this particular part is its whole locations. Those are very important for how this actually gets put into a design as well as which side of the part has larger depth compared to the other side. For instance, if I rotate this, you can see one side is flat and the other side has a cavity to it. So I'd like to maintain that cavity so someone can identify which side is which when they're putting this together into their own design. Now, things they don't need to see is perhaps the interior fillets that I have here, or maybe this interior void or gap, because maybe there's a lot of intellectual property to that, maybe there's a lot of engineering data that's gone into this, and I don't necessarily want to share that with somebody that is simply putting it in their design and not really wanting to create it themselves. In fact, I don't want somebody to be able to take this to another competitor and have it created. I would rather strip out the data that the client just doesn't need to see. So in order to do this, on the left-hand side of my model browser, I can simply find the features that I don't want, such as the fillets, and maybe even this extrusion. So I'm holding down Control and just selecting multiple items. Now once I right click on one of these, I can choose Suppress Features. And it essentially turns that feature off, and this is how I would want my model to appear to somebody if they import it through a step file or some other file format. So now I will be able to export this as a step file or an IGIS, and I'm happy with somebody opening this up. Now maybe I want to come back to this state whenever I want to do the export process. Well, what I can do is create parameters that control my suppression of my features. So I'm going to go to my parameters command on my quick access toolbar, and I'm going to create a new numeric parameter called feature suppress. Now this parameter, I'm going to change the unit type here to unitless. And I'm going to make it one UL as the current value. In the comment field, I'm going to have 0 equal off, 1 equal on. I'll choose done. Now on my suppressed features, I'll just select these again, right click, and go to properties. As you can see, it allows you to pick a color property here, but that's not exactly what I want. I want it to control something else. I'm going to hit cancel here. This time, I'll do just the fillets. Right click, properties. Again, it shows the feature property appearance color, not something that I want. I'll choose cancel again. Now if I do these individually, by right clicking and going to properties, I'll get a different window. Now I have the ability to adjust the name and suppression based on conditional control. So, for instance, fillet one, I would like this to suppress if feature suppress equals zero. I'll choose OK. I'm going to have to do that to each and every one of these. So I do that to extrusion three, as well as Phillips two, three, and four, to set these the same way. There we go. Now, since my parameter is currently set to one, they are not suppressed. If I go back to my parameter control, let me just move this over here and zoom that a little bit so we can see it. I'm going to change my feature suppression from one to zero. Since this is an immediate update, I can see it take place in the background. Change it back to one. So there I can control my feature suppression with a simple parameter. Then of course, as soon as I'm ready to save this as another CAD format, I'll turn my suppression back on, and when I save it, it'll be saved in that state without having that extra engineering data to it, as well as reducing the overall file size by getting rid of those extra modeling faces. So this has been a look at feature suppression 
inside of Autodesk Inventor.